I've been talking a lot recently about relationships and being a uh, forthright and genuine person because that is something that's been on my mind for the past amount of time, months, years, whatever. And it's helped me a lot, both in my personal life and in my um, profession, and even here, here on the YouTubes, to be an, an honest, genuine, forthcoming person. And today, um, earlier this morning, there was a video posted on Funny or Die of President Barack Obama speaking to Zach Galifianakis between two ferns. And if you haven't seen it, you, you should probably go watch it. And if you're like, uh, overhyped. Well, that was creepy. <laughs> Sorry. If you're thinking it's overhyped, it's not. Just go watch it. Let your political opinion aside for a minute and just go watch it. It's very funny. Um, and the person behind it is um, Scott Ackerman. And I've talked about Scott Ackerman just a little bit. In an upcoming episode of this podcast, Broke the Internet, you will hear me talk to great length about Scott Ackerman because he's one of my newest heroes. Uh, he is a comedy guru. He's not really a comedy actor. He's not really a comedy, uh, like a stand-up comedian. He's a writer and he's a producer. And he is the director of Between Two Ferns, and he's a producer on it. There are several producers. Um, and he's one of the guys that the comedy world just seems to, like, revolve around. And he has had a podcast called Comedy Death Ray, which is now called Comedy Bang Bang, for over, over three years, I think almost four years now. And anyone that you can think of in the comedy world, pretty much, has been on that show. Or someone has been on that show impersonating that person. And, uh... I was so excited when I saw the news this morning that Obama had done this video because I knew what it meant for Scott Ackerman, who has been such a behind-the-scenes person until very recently. The podcast did a little bit for him, and actually Zach Galifianakis specifically because he got a lot of exposure on the podcast after Zach went on a small rant about Mel Gibson being in The Hangover Part 2. Did not go over well for the movie, but anyway... He now has his own show on IFC called Comedy Bang Bang, where he, like, kind of fake interviews guests. And it's really funny, but it's still like, well, who is this Scott Ackerman guy? And now, today, he's getting a significant amount of exposure because of this interview in the White House with Barack Obama. And I will link the video, and I will link an article on Vulture, which is an interview um, between uh, him and Vulture magazine. Is Vulture a magazine or just a website? Isn't it a bird? Vulture is a bird. If you read the interview, uh, you can see what I'm talking about, about him being a very genuine, real person. When he's on the show, of course, he's sometimes playing a little bit of a character, like a, like a letterman. Like, there's got to be a little bit of give and take with any kind of comedy interview, because that's how it's funny. But you can tell in his personal life that he's a very honest, forthcoming person, and that's how he forges all these relationships with people that end up having such an effect in his professional life. They're, those two things are connected, whether you want them to be or not. So I don't know what the point is that I'm trying to make, except for the more that you help yourself be honest and genuine with everyone in your life, not just at work, not just at home, the better it will all be, because it's all the same thing. And it's an attitude in your own head about being a good person that people can sense. And I spent a couple hours today talking about a former acquaintance that it turned out a mutual friend. Like, I, it turned out like someone I knew knew this person. And we both agreed that the worst thing about this person was you could never tell if they were being genuine. And it made every interaction with them strange. And it felt like you couldn't trust that person. If you can be genuine with people, people will like you and gravitate towards you. And that's rewarding. And it makes your life a lot easier. I felt pretty good. <laughs>